Hello. I'm so excited that tomorrow school opens and we start September 2020. It's been such a long time since this whole school has been here together. For some of you, you've not been in school for six months. For others, you did come in for a little bit of the time. We're so excited that the children are now about to return. But school will look a little different. And I know it's going to take everybody time to get used to it. I know you might be at home now with some anxieties and some worries about school. Please don't. We've done and put into place as many different things that will help to keep ourselves, our children and our families as safe as we can in school. The most important thing is that the children come back to school. We've missed them. We hope they've missed school. We know from what parents have told us they miss their children not being in school. I know that some of you will worry about what your child has missed out on and what work they haven't done. I know that some of you found teaching at home really a, a great challenge. Some of you found that you weren't sure which style of phonics to follow. Some of you found that your children just didn't really want to do any of the work. Please don't worry. We appreciate everything that you have been able to do with your children. And we know that a lot of the skills that our children will have picked up over the last six months, do you know, aren't academic and that doesn't matter. They will have learned many, many, many different things and be able to do so many more things than since they were last in school. For once they come in through our doors, we aren't going to sit them down and test them. We're going to talk to them. We're going to rebuild those relationships. We're going to ensure that they have a happy start, a happy restart to school. And then we'll be able to find out exactly what things they might need extra help with. And don't worry, mums and dads, because we're here. The teachers of this school are committed to ensuring that your child makes the best progress that they can while they're with us. And I know, having worked with the staff, especially over the summer holidays, how dedicated they are in ensuring that no child is left behind. School is going to be different. It's going to be much harder for us to see you as parents. So we ask that you're patient. Please contact us on one of our email addresses or phone the school. We probably can't do quite so many of our face-to-face -face uh, meetings and conversations with you. But please keep talking to us. When you come to drop off in the mornings, I know it'll be different. You must trust us. Leave your children with us and then you go about whatever it is you're supposed to be doing. And hopefully for most of you, you'll be able to get back to work and get back a little bit more normality into your lives. At the end of the day, when you come to pick up your children, we ask that you put a mask on. We're only asking you to do that to try and keep all of us adults safe. Your child while they're at school doesn't need a mask. We will be doing lots of different things over the next few weeks with your children. And hopefully they'll come home and they can share all the different things that they've been involved with. But our most important objective for the next couple of weeks is to put a smile on the faces of the Queen Vic pioneers. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon and then as the weeks develop. Thank you so much for all of your support during this most different time that we've lived through. I know that together the community of Queen Victoria has ensured that our children have been at the forefront of everything that we've tried to do. Anyway, enjoy your final evening. We look forward to seeing all of the children tomorrow morning, bright and early. See you then. Bye.